It's Madden NFL 23, and we've got the Seahawks leader at quarterback. He had a solid performance a week ago, throwing for three touchdowns. It's the Seahawks and the Rams, and it's all up next on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, we've got a Week 13 matchup for you here between the Seattle Seahawks and the Los Angeles Rams. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Rams team as they interplay. It's late in the year. We all know it. We've seen the calendar for these guys. Their bodies could probably use a break, but they have to push on. And they're really not as worried about that as maybe we think. They know they've got the entire offseason to rest. All they care about is the game in front of them and finishing strong. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Seahawks, they've been flawless these last couple months, winners of nine in a row. And that's the kind of streak you don't see too often in today's NFL since they're... So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. And leading him out is their fifth-year quarterback. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want, but this guy, he is hard to corral. Throwing to start the drive. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. I do think it's fair to say they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here, second and a yard from the 34. Back to throw, Brown. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely, frees up your guys elsewhere. On third down, Carson. They tried their best to pick up that third and one, but their surge wasn't enough to counter out what came back at them from the defensive side, was it? Offensive line, especially in the middle, looked like they were on skates a little bit when that one started. So now we bring up fourth and inches. This would be a critical call. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good, three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offensive move a little bit Sometimes better. it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That, too. <laughs> They'll run on first down. It's Carson, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. The numbers on the ground for Carson last week, 19 carries, 79 yards, and a touchdown. Yeah, he could very well be on his way to a rushing title, but guess what? His offensive line, they're meeting separately because they want that rushing title as much as he does. They want to make sure they get him there. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Looking to throw. Brown. That's D.K. Metcalf running the sled. He's got it. And they'll work this down inside the 30. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. 
The Seahawks at 10 and 1 now in the year. And they've been flawless these last couple months. Winners of nine in a row. And let's give them a ton of credit because in a league that's built on any given Sunday, any team can win. To run off this kind of a streak, this kind of a number, that's pretty darn impressive. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Here we go now on first and goal. It's Carson, and not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. That was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Brown now to throw on second down. Caught on the slam. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. And the ball mere inches from the right line on third and goal. Now a handoff up the middle. Carson, and that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. you got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sets his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Back to throw, Brown. And it's knocked away and incomplete. As a coaching staff, you can call just about whatever you want because you understand you have guys who reliably take away those massive shots downfield. You're not as worried about giving up the big one. Looking to throw. Brown. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Charles, with that completion, I'm told that puts him now over 3,000 yards passing on the campaign. And Brandon, I think we have to start to think about where we are in the season. Because right now, 4,000 is not out of the question. I think a big game or two, he's certainly capable of getting that done. And this is Hilton on the receiving end. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Seahawk football here to start quarter number two. As they've got it with a second and one coming up. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Right back to him on first down. And 
This will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. run got nine that leaves him with second and a yard back to throw Brown and that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback but when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it it helps out the big gun in this case just a little bit too much Left side here taken in by Metcalf. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 41-yard line. The defense surrenders a 13-yard pass play there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. They'll run on first down. Carson, that's about as exciting of a one-yard run as you're going to see. Finding a way to dodge that first would-be tackler. But again, just one yard out of it. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that point from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the ride, and they hold him to just a yard. Brown looking to throw on second down. Runs over him. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 30. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. First and 10 now from the 30. Oh, oh, oh. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Carson. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Looking to throw. Brown. And his throw here is incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes. Is that throw a ride? Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. Now just where he needed to be to knock it away. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive. And now they face a third and three here. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? Week 13 here in the NFL, first weekend of December. Playoff races definitely coming into focus now. And we got a couple of good ones in primetime. Tonight, national audience gets a look at the Colts for a second straight weekend. This time there at Dallas, 7.20 Central time for that kick. And then Monday night, Saints and Bucks from Tampa. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. It's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Well, a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Ready. 
Here's Brown on first and 10. Over the middle, that's caught by Metcalf. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Defense. Defense. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. A quick throw knocked away, it's incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. He's able to knock that one away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Up the middle they go. Carson. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You first see incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third and down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete. Certainly what they'd like to have back as it breaks up fourth down. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And now following that turnover, they've got an opportunity here to try to cash in with good field position before intermission. Now Brown throwing on first down. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Well, these are the situations that really tested defenses, sudden changes. They're already inside field goal range to start the possession. Their goal now, keep it to a long kick if indeed they end up trying one. On second down, but this one is incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Brown now to throw on third down. Finding Hilton on the slam. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll look to throw again. He goes right back the way of Hilton. And the Seahawks are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future what I mean by that is they had a plan let's find a way to score right here before the half and that'll give us momentum going into the second half give us that cushion that we're looking for they got that accomplished scoring right before the half ended Now we'll see what the Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. 
and have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Carson. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 59 yards rushing for him so far in this one as he nears 1,400 for the year. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. Back to throw. Brown. Looking left side. He's got it complete. And he's going to get this down near the 25. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. First down, Brown. It's complete to Lockett. And he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12. First and 10. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Brown. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Partner, they had a good lead as they went in at the half, and they came out here in the second half and found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes, and while this game is far from over, I love their approach. comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. And do you think he personally is evaluating his game so far? He was pretty good in the first half, been good so far here in the third quarter. He's got to like it, right? Not looking for the dramatics here. Not trying to set the world on fire in terms of stats. It's almost like you're driving. Hands at 10 and 2, alert for anything out there, watching for trouble on the road, and making sure you get the team home. The bus driver. See who can drive the bus here again on this drive. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. Ball on a 30. They'll come up with a second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. Carson, and he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. It'll go as a gain of six at that time, and it moves the chains as well. well. Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Let's go now. Oh, on first 
first down. It's Carson, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by the defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved up the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 45-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Now a handoff up the middle. Carson. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Seahawks with the possession. They also have the lead here as we get set for the fourth and final quarter. They go back to Carson here on second. 92 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. I think there's a fatigue factor that's kicking in defensively. You know the will is still strong, but I think the offense is starting to bend it just a little bit, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. It's looked that way. We'll see if they can continue this already strong drive. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Up the middle they go. It's Carson. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And despite a nice juke there, really good move. He only gets about a yard, and it brings up second down. All of a sudden, those lanes over there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Here's Brown to throw on second down. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. 
Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on down is the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. They'll run on first down. Carson. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Carson. 120 yards rushing for him now as this sensational afternoon continues. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing out second down. Well, if this defense has any hopes of getting back into this game, they've got to start right here and keep these guys out of the end zone. That's a good step one on that play. Now Brown looking to throw on second down. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. A great effort there. His third touchdown of the game, number nine on the season. And the Seahawks extend this fourth quarter lead, and they are getting closer and closer to win number 11. Seahawks and a few kneel downs should just about do it now defensively they do have all three timeouts but very little reason to use them at this point they'll run on first down it's Carson the Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now a hit off up the middle. Carson flashed the stick skills but didn't get a ton from it. Stop short of the 35. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, it's Carson. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. The Seahawks in victory formation as they go ahead and take the knee.
So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one. So for the Seahawks, they continue to keep pace for that first round bye as they move to 11-1.